In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for KOH, potassium hydroxide. In this compound, we have potassium, K, which is a metal, and then OH, these are nonmetals. When we have a metal and nonmetals, it's an ionic compound, and the electrons will be transferred from the metal to the nonmetals. So we'll write K, and potassium is in group one. That means it has a plus one charge. It's lost one electron. Since it's lost one electron, that means it's lost a negative charge, and it's going to be positive. We'll also put brackets around this to show it's an ion. Next, we'll draw the Lewis structure for the OH, the hydroxide. That's a polyatomic ion. And hydroxide, the polyatomic ion, always has a negative charge. So let's put a negative charge outside and put brackets. So this is the Lewis structure for KOH, potassium hydroxide. The potassium, the K, lost an electron, it became positive, and then the hydroxide group got that electron, it has a negative charge. The positive and the negative, those are attracted, and those two oppositely charged ions form the ionic bond. Understand that this is what we call a formula unit. There will actually be many of these formula units arranged in a regular pattern in a crystal of KOH. This Lewis structure, the formula unit of KOH, helps us understand how the electrons are arranged in this compound. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for KOH, and thanks for watching.